Hello everybody and welcome to the first of hopefully many installments of MWS, uh, Magic Workstation Deck Tech. I'm your host Joey Penny and uh, before I get a little uh, into what we do I'd like to explain why we do what we are going to do. Uh, basically I play Magic the Gathering and I like to play online and I like to play online with a program called Magic Workstation because it's like free Magic Online. Uh, and I also enjoy watching deck decks on YouTube of magic decks and pro decks and casual decks and all that good stuff. Um, but I'm finding a lack of casual decks uh, really around. It's usually all type 2 or extended or legacy or something like that. So I want to make this channel here with uh, decks that I've built for casual play. Now casual for fun, not casual for budget. So the sky's the limit. And, uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's get into this, uh, first deck deck here. This, uh, deck that I have here built now is, uh, Mono Black Rat deck. It's, uh, no real combo or anything per se, it's just a, sh a tribal deck of rats. So let's, I'll explain, I'll give you the numbers here and then we'll go into play and then I'll, uh, I'll be able to, um, if, please forgive me, it's really early in the morning. I'll be able to, uh, explain the card synergies in the deck. So, starting with creatures, we have three swarm of rats, three bog rats, three marinar, three pestilence rats, two throat slitters, four gnat misers, three locust misers, three crows taken. For the spells, we have three Dark Ritual, three Pax Disdain, three Disentomb, Tomb, three Demonic Tutor, three Doom Blade, three Dash Hopes, three Bone Splinters. I currently do not have a sideboard built for this deck. Uh, hopefully, eventually, I will, but right now I don't really see a point. Uh, for the lands, we have four Swarm Yard. And 19 Swamp. So let's get into the play. Okay, so uh, here we have the deck laid out, as you can see, all right here. As I move my mouse over the thing, you'll be able to see the pictures over in the side here, so you don't need to worry about how small these seem. Uh, now I'm just going to talk about the overall uh, deck tech, I guess. Um, first off, let's start out with the main star of the deck, Marinar. Uh, he is probably the best rat lord ever printed, as far as I know. He gives all your rats fear, which for those of you who don't know, fear used to be the uh, black version of Intimidate, back when uh, not all colors had Intimidate. It was only one color. It was black, and it was called Fear, not Intimidate. And his ability is you tap him and sacrifice a rat, and you put X form of black rat creature tokens onto the battlefield, or X is the number of rats you control. He has the ability to overwhelm your opponent with 1-1 one, one rat tokens and plus comboed with pestilence rats uh, slash swarm of rats you get a very big beater with fear who can't be blocked except uh, by artifact and black creatures uh, we have Nat Miser here who reduces each opponent's maximum hand size is reduced by 1 1-1 one, one for 1 aggressively costed a 1 drop who does this ability it's a uh, it's kind of like the blue side of black. I like to call it like controlly is. I mean ish. Uh, and his uh, big brother, of course, Locust Miser. He's kind of costs a little bit more. A two two for four rather than it be a two two for two. But he reduces uh, each opponent's maximum hand size by two, not one. Uh, pestilence rats and swarm of rats, obviously. Uh, when you get your tokens going, their power uh, just gets really large, and they have fear, so they can end games pretty quickly. Throat Slitter is okay if you ever attack with a token, you can pay its ninjutsu cost rather than its uh, over-costed converted mana cost. And when it deals common damage to a player, destroy that not destroy target non-black creature that player controls. It's kind of like a uh, uh, the ninjutsu ability is equal to a dark banishing, which is uh, so it's, there's uh, extra or second ability rather. 
minus double deal damage part, of course. Uh, then we got cards like Kuro's Taken. Uh, it's not a right rat, I mean, it's just uh, what I call a filler. I mean, out of all the other rats I looked at, that was probably the best one, so I just put it in the deck. Uh, so again, same with Bog Rats, it was a one drop, so that's why it's there. Uh, on to the spells, we have a lot of removal. Uh, Pax Disdain, again, once you get uh, a lot of rat creature tokens going, uh, this card becomes uh, very powerful. Uh, for two mana, choose a creature type, so we choose rat. Target creature gets minus one minus one until end of turn. Until end of turn, rather, sorry. For each permanent of the chosen type you control. So if we control rats, they could get something like, I remember in a game I had 54 rat tokens, so creatures would have something like minus 60, minus 60. And that's big enough to even take out elves, as seen in the picture. Uh, Demonic Tutor, uh, again, this is casual for fun. So, number one is, uh, I wouldn't be able to afford uh, three of these cards personally. I'd use Diabolic Tutor. And, uh, again, it's restricted. So if you do happen to play with restrict, uh, play with the whole uh, rule of restricted cards, then this, uh, you'd substitute this out with Diabolic Tutor, but this is casual for fun, and everything is for free. So we go with the best, and Demonic Tutor is better than Diabolic Tutor because it's has a lower converted mana cost. Uh, we uh, search your library for one card and take it into your hand, reshuffle your library afterwards. Uh, tutor ability is what that's called. Very good. Uh, dark Ritual uh, for mana acceleration for one black mana we can add. Sorry about that. We have three black mana to our mana pool. Always efficient. Dash Hopes, again, the blue side of black. Uh, counter target spell for two black mana rather than two blue and says counter target spell. But this one has uh, a pay five life ability. If uh, any player can pay five life when you cast Dash Hopes, and if a player does, it's countered itself, but then you get, if you don't counter their spell, they lose five life. So it's choose one or the other. It's a really good card in black. Doomblade, destroy target non-black creature for two. And Disentomb, return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Now that's only if, say, uh, your important cards like Marinar or Pestilence Rats or Swarm of Rats is put into your graveyard with removal spells. A uh, better card in this place would probably be Reanimate. Now I don't want to confuse you if you put Reanimate in this thinking it'd be a Reanimate deck. It's not. A uh, Reanimate would just be a, a better card than Disentomb. And of course, 19 swamps. We need black mana. And four swarm yard. It doesn't come into play tapped, which is a bonus. Regenerate target insect, rat, spider, or squirrel when you tap it. So we would regenerate a rat. So we wouldn't really have to use a distant tomb. But on the slight chance that, you know, it passes by us and our cards go to the graveyard, we got distant tomb. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of MWS Deck Tech. I'm your host, Joey Penny, and I will be uploading more videos very soon. Thank you very much.